right, Paul. First off, you're down 2-1 in that match, right? 2-1, first takedown. And then you come back and go Super Smash Brothers, okay? You end up with a 17 to 3. First off, Jim, Jim, Jimenez, have you ever wrestled him before? Never wrestled him before. I think he's a young guy too. He's younger. I think he's a sophomore maybe, or just a sophomore, or just a freshman. He's young. You've been in the game a minute. Yeah. What year is this for you? My senior year, my last year. Last year. Four straight years, no red shirt. Looking at Buck now and looking, going there. First off, great academic institution. And uh, you know, you, you've always been right there. You've always been like a 11 to 20 guy right there. What's it gonna take? First off, good start. What's the good start mean to you like this Michigan State Open win? You know, it's early in the season, still getting my weight under control. We had two dual meets before this. I had dual meet Friday to make weight again. It was kind of tough. You know, it's kind of like uh, our coach kind of schedules matches like this just to kind of uh, simulate the MCAA weighing a couple days in a row. And uh, it's nice to get a, a tournament, like an open tournament win. I don't have many open tournament uh, victories in my four years, like three and a half years of college wrestling. So, one, it's nice to get a win, and it's kind of uh, it gives me an opportunity to start moving my feet more, working on some offense. I've been like lately in the beginning of the year, I've been kind of flat-footed. So, I feel really excited. I'm, I'm glad I was able to move my feet throughout my matches and just get more matches under my belt to get my conditioning up and just my focus. That slow start there, you know, obviously getting taken down first. That could be the difference at an NCAA tournament, at the Eastern, you know, your league tournament, which is tougher than nails. NCAA tournament tougher than nails. Slow starts. How do you avoid those? Uh, you know, I was flat footed. Kind of came out kind of square. Uh, I guess I wasn't all the way engaged in the match yet. Once I got taken out, I was like, all right, I got to start going. You know, got to start picking it up. So, I mean, I'm a guy who. Wrestling's wrestling. If I get taken down, I'm just gonna work to get the next point, escape, and start attacking again. So I don't really get flustered or upset getting taken down early. I just gotta keep improving all my positions. If I get taken down, get up. Next thing I gotta do is get away and then get on the attack, which I did. So it's not a big deal for me. It's just I shouldn't let these things happen, especially towards the end of the year, NCAA's and uh, EWAs. But if stuff happens. Just gotta keep improving and scoring. So. Not red shirting, you know, where, where does that decision come from? And do you think that that's something that, you know, taking an extra year to mature, maybe you, they didn't have that situation for you when you went to Bucknell, but now, you know, maybe maybe a year, it, it's out. It's not out the window yet, is it? No, no. Uh, well, you did have a duel, didn't you? I'm sorry? You guys did have a duel, didn't you? We did have a duel. Right? We did have a duel, so potentially, you're probably not gonna red shirt. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, at Bucknell, it's a four year institution. You get in, you get out. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get five years, if you do, Engineering and a double major, uh, which is what Joe Stolfi did. So he has he had five years because he uh, medical registered his freshman year. But yeah, Buck uh it's a four-year institution. So I knew that going in. I wrestled 33 my freshman year. I was really undersized. So that was one. I was undersized and they're right to the big Division One uh, college wrestling. So that was like a kind of like a new experience for me. But I don't I don't think redshirting would have it could have benefited me. You know, get get some of those that first year match out of the way, but. I think it just made me a stronger wrestler and just gave me a short time frame to achieve my goals, which I still have time to do. So it just made me focus more and push harder in the room. Looking at the EIWA, one of the toughest conferences, obviously, in the country. I think it's tied for the most teams at the Big Ten. You guys got a ton of teams. Mm -hmm. What do you got to do to be the champ there? Set yourself for, up for a good seat at the NCAA tournament. I got a tough weight class. You know, I got uh, Darian Cruz. I got a um, kid from American. The crazy wow, judo yes. throws. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I wrestled him multiple times. I have got to beat him. So, you know, that's the only person that in my weight class who I haven't beat to win any uh, EWA uh, uh, championship or even get to the finals yet. So, for uh, for me to get to that finals, just to keep wrestling my style, get my hands on him, and just uh, just keep working on moving my feet and trying to get angles to score. If I can get to someone's legs, my, my finish percentage is pretty high. So, I just got to work on getting to the legs. So that's what I, my uh, my focus is right now. And uh, just beating that one individual. This is Valley your guys' last All-American? Uh, I think Coach Valley is our last All-American. What's it mean to you if you can do that? It means a lot. You know, it's his first year here, and uh, I think it would be a good feeling for him. Uh, you know, being his first year back at Bucknell and having All-American under his belt. But I it would be nice to to, be, to join him on that wall and get my name on a plaque. Train to be an NCAA champion or train to be an All-American? What is it? NCAA champion, of course. You can't if you train to be an All-American, you're gonna fall short. You gotta set your goals high and uh, reach for the stars. All right, buddy. You got anything else for me? That's it. Thank right. you. Safe travel. See you down the road. Let's go.